Hey folks, Craters here, and we're going to play some Imperion Galactic Survival. And as I start up the game here, we're going to take a little detour in this episode. Um, I spent a little time working on something because I mentioned, you might be able to hear the music, um, I mentioned that... Uh, we were going to bring in another HV into the game. Uh, we we got a we got a early game HV hover vessel. We got a the Adiana small vessel an SV, and we're going to start gathering resources for a early game CV a capital vessel, and we're going to do that here shortly in the the actual episode, but we're going to take a few minutes and take a detour. So while I was um, how to say after I finish my actual work today, I do have a profession. I do have to work every day. Uh, all this COVID-19 stuff has not hindered me. I just work from home, which is not a big deal because I generally am not always in the office anyway. So we are going to jump into this creative world on a temperate planet. And this is where I made the adjustments to the Adiana and upgraded it to the Mark II and played with the things, just so you know. So, yesterday, after I finished work, and today, after I finished work, I've been playing around in this world. So, you can see over there, uh, probably not clearly, and I can't zoom in. We'll go over there in a second. In fact, let's just, we got God mode. This is a build, it's the MCRN Pioneer. Uh, it's actually a tier two, but I've upgraded it to a kind of tier three, uh, made a few changes to my own liking. And this is our first capital vessel that we're gonna bring to the game. This is made by Jay Randall. You can find him on the YouTubes and especially in the Imperion Steam Workshop. He has tons of builds and is responsible, mainly responsible for all the MCRN uh, builds among others. Uh, in fact, I use a few of his builds. In fact, the Adiana is based off one of his builds, which is the uh, let's see, small vessel, which is the Merc 5E. We can spawn that in. We're in creative mode. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. We're going to take a few minutes and do this. This is probably going to turn into a long episode. So this is the Merc 5E. Merc, excuse me, Merc MX 5E. Nice little vessel, well designed. I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. His work is just spectacular. If you cannot take inspiration from that, then, you know, I don't know. In fact, I did take inspiration from that as the Adiana Mark II, let's bring that in right next to it, is not a gigantic leap beyond it, all right? It's got a few extra tidbits and a little more... Uh, I mean, it's slightly different. I did build this ground up from, you know, I look at here and did this and look at that and did this and look at that and did this. And, you know, this has got these wings jutting out, but it's got the same, you know, basic profile and, and you know, same kind of basic design. Uh, so this was heavily inspired by the Merc MX-5E. It's a great little, both of them are great, great little um, uh, small vessels, right? And he also designed this thing, which is going to be our first capital vessel. It's, uh, this one's a tier three, uh, because I, I made a couple little changes to it. I'll 
fly around in the back. And to be honest with you, I forgot what I did. Oh, I did add uh, the two tier three CPU extenders for reasons. Um, get out of God mode here. There was a reason why I did that. And I did that yesterday, and I got to be honest, I forgot why. <laughs> uh, I did change some of the logic here. Uh, Jay Randall, he loves the switches, which I don't blame him. Those are great. But I changed the logic a little bit so we can turn on the space defense guns. Hopefully that should work. Actually, I didn't test it. Um why why did i upgrade this to a tier three um in preparation i believe uh, it's basically the same at some point we're going to add some more of these um uh led projectors they're going to put one up there so we know what that one is we're going to put one on each of these storage boxes so we know what those are uh forget oh i know why because we uh uh his original design uh this is some of the logic i included that's why we didn't hear the weapons engage because they already are so part of the logic i did was whenever it's landed on a anywhere on a planet on a platform for a base um all the weapons employ they they extend they do the things so i added these four gatlin gun turrets to it and that kind of pushed it over the uh, tier two limit because it was already there i mean it was already on the brink of things and i did a couple other things to it too uh small things i don't exactly remember what uh but like if we if we turn off all the turrets and weapons, you see most of them, you know they they retract, including the the, the four turret uh, turrets, the little Gatlin turrets down below. So I added those four to it, and yeah, I'll keep rambling. On. I quit rambling on where where did I put the thing? So, yeah, um, over here. There it is. So here's the thing I've been working on. You just kind of got a glimpse of it. So I mentioned we're going to bring in the pack mule, which we'll have a quick look at that. I love this thing. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, probably need to update it because this was, I made this in 11.5. And so here's the back meal. So, the, oh yeah, yeah, definitely got to be updated because it's missing the the detectors for eleven alpha, right? Yeah, alpha eleven were were for the uh, hover vessels were a different thing. They weren't this dome kind of thing, which was specifically for uh, uh, small vessels and capital vessels. So now my bull bar looks like crap. Yeah, well, I'll fix that up. The nice thing about this thing, uh, besides the rocket turret on top, it's got three Gatling gun turrets. And so it's pretty well defended. It does not have a shield, but the whole thing is made out of combat steel. The entire exterior is combat steel. This bugger can take some hits. And the big bonus to it is... Move that ramp. And get into it. Is... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Nope, that's the ammo controller. Oops. Let's get... So we can see the... So it's got uh, 1750 storage in the ammo controller, and somewhere oh, there it is. So that's the main storage controller, not not the projector, and that's got just a touch over 30 
thousand SU of storage in this thing. This thing can carry a load. And I do have a designated spot for a uh, shield. And if it if you want one, and there's a Pentaxid tank already installed. Of course, a medic station, wireless connection. There's a cup, uh, oh, one fridge, sorry. Armor locker. Oh, that looks a lot better in there. That's one thing, it looks better. Uh, but honestly, you really don't need the shield. Uh, but if you did add a shield, make. This, this is on my, my Steam Workshop. Steam Workshop, English. Words, craters, words, they're things. You will have to upgrade it to tier four because uh, CPU statistics, if we do add that shield to it, because they changed all the things. What happens if we do that? Let's grab a shield and I know I'm wasting too much time. Uh, let's just try it. And we're going to rotate this thing. No, nope, rotate it the other way. There we go. So if we add that in there. And devices. Nope. Yep. See, that pushes us. Again, those words that pushes us over tier three so we'd have to go to tier four right because now we're 68 percent cpu efficiency which means we're burning an ungodly amount of fuel and all kinds of things uh so that won't work and in fact we're going in the end menu so that stays the same so this is what i was considering and bring it into the game uh which i like i like this thing of course i built it ground up i think it looks kind of cool <laughs> there is a trailer for it if you take this uh uh turret off and put a landing pad there there the, but as i probably mentioned before the trailer is not finished Oh, I like this texturing. I forgot this texturing. That's like a wood texture. Ah, uh, I got a... What is with that? I missed a spot. But, um... Yeah, but it's only got one Gatlin gun. It's got the two uh, Gatlin turrets. Something minigun. Pardon me. Minigun turrets up front. The rocket turret on top, nice blinking light because heavy loads driving down the road, you got to have your flashing light. <laughs> yes, that's what that is for. It's the beacon. And I, I do got some, uh, you know, signal logic going on to that. But I got to thinking I want a tank. When we bring in another HV into the game, which will be after we bring in Capital Vessel, which you saw over that way somewhere, I think. Yeah, over that way somewhere. <laughs> it's out of rendering. Oh, no, there it is. It's right over there. I'm, I'm trying to not give you a glimpse of that. Yep, did you see it? That. No, don't look. That. No, don't look. Okay. <laughs> So I was, I was considering this, and it's big, it's bulky, sure, it's got like fr tons, tons of storage. Uh, more storage than most HVs than I know of. It's got kind of a smokestack deal, it's got some, I don't know, I, I like the thing. Good lights. It, it, it does get up and go. I'm going to take it for a quick spin. It cruises along pretty good. I mean, it's a beast. It's made out of combat steel. It's heavy, heavy, very, very heavy. So it doesn't turn the greatest, but
But now, if I revamp it, I can probably put some um, RCS in it. Because currently it doesn't have none. Doesn't have a one. Right? But it stops pretty good. Once it stopped, it does turn pretty good. And is it me or is it kind of leaning towards the front? Uh... I think it is. Oh, well, we're not off the ground either. There we go. Oh, that's probably better. That is better. So I might be able to upgrade some of the thrusters and stuff and put a couple, three, four RCS in it. Probably four or six or somewhere in that region. A couple in the back if I have space for them. But... We're not going to do that. Um, what we are going to do... Let's shut this thing off. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Pack meal. I have to... Can I, can I shut you off? There you go. Uh, as mentioned, this is going to be our first capital vessel right here. The uh, J. Randall's MCRN Pioneer. Uh... It's a great vessel. We got we got space to park our our uh, not the pack mill our Adiana. We can park that up top here, and then we can park our HV in here. One or two HVs in there. So what I did yesterday and today before I recorded this episode is I built this in creative mode and. I took some inspiration from a Excalibur build and the reason I did that is because I knew what I wanted I I, I, I knew my end goal and I was really struggling with trying to get the blocks uh, the way I wanted it so I brought in several HVs and finally found one from Excalibur that kind of have it a similar design of what I was looking for and so I use his for a lot of inspiration on this thing it's a little bit smaller but not huge uh, in fact we can bring in the um, if I can remember what it's called uh, gun blade so, if if you're looking for a nice tier four HV, yeah, Excalibur's gun blade here. So you can see a lot of similarities here. In fact, let's fuel this thing up, give it some oxygen, fire it up, and see if we can jump in it and get it up in the air, get it hovering like a true hover vessel should. Alright, so you can see a lot of inspiration taken between the two. Except he's got three uh, cockpit things on here. He's got more guns than mine does. He's got a landing pad up here so you can pick it up with a capital vessel or a... Uh, oops. Those things are always loud. Or a, a big... Uh, SV that could actually pick it up. So I, I did take quite a bit of inspiration from this thing. It's a, this is an awesome looking deal. Four rocket turrets on here, four uh, minigun turrets, and nothing up there, and then four, of course, Gatling guns up front. No harvester, of course, and tons of our um, thrusters, just freaking tons of them. So I, I took quite a bit of inspiration from that and kind of, well, I built this ground up. I built this block by block from, you know, basically all ground up. And uh, I think it turned out really nice. So this, this, 20 minutes into this recording, this which I have called radar, 
Um, if this doesn't tell you how old I am, I enjoy MASH. If you've never seen MASH, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. Google it. Might be on YouTube. I don't know. Mm, probably a bunch of other old, you know, cable, uh, satellite, whatever channels. Radar was always prepared, always knew what to do. And so I called it radar. <laughs> but I wanted this kind of this kind of look to it. It only has one cockpit. And but this is it. And I'm glad it's nighttime because it looks really cool. I'm going to jump in and take it for a spin if I can go down, if I remember how to do that. There we go. Handles nicely. It does have eight, I think, eight RCS in it. It is tier four, though, so, but it's not, for a tier four HV, it's not overly expensive. It is not made out of combat steel. This is made out of, uh, hardened steel the entire exterior is hard steel some of the interior is standard steel but this is a this is a tank and what differentiate yeah blah 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 blah, blah words craters words what makes it different let's just differentiates it and what makes it different from Excalibur's build is I do have two plasma turrets on here on the rear pylons and then I got a single rocket turret up top two more rocket turrets on either side of the cockpit and the minigun turrets on the front pylons and then it's got the four Gatlin turrets up front it does have some, uh, of course, some of my signal logic to it, where we can shut off the turrets if we want to, and shut down the Gatlins if we want to. It does have a bunch of outside lights to it, so it makes it look a little bit different. That's what all the, the uh, oops, the P menu, put the outside lights back on. So, I mean, you can spot this thing out from a distance and so can your friends but yeah this is it this is what we're going to bring in next time uh, in the meantime I'll shut that off maybe and shut you off are you going to shut off you want to shut off thank you this is what we're working towards currently is the MCRN Pioneer. So, with that said, I've wasted enough time in this video. Let's get on to playing the game. When we finally bring this thing in, I will take you on a tour. This is actually, even though it's Tier 3, because... Um, well, I made some changes to it. <laughs> That's why I added the four little minigun turrets on the bottom. I think that's what they're called. Is that what they're called? Where are they? Uh, I forgot where I put the thing. There it is. Sentry gun. Sentry gun turrets. There's four of those down below. And um, yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a tour when we get to it. When we finally bring this in. So let's go and get into our Evia Day, Evia Day, however it's called, and let's play the game. I know that killed a bunch of time for this video, so the actual video is not going to be here. This isn't going to be that long, but it, you get to see a bit what's coming up. I had a lot of fun building that HV. 
the radar. And um, I think it turned out really nice. Um, I, I do need to do a bunch of, you know, texturing to it. Take out the old, the old, uh, my mouse is way too fast. Uh, where is it? The, yeah, texture and color tool. And apply a bunch of new textures to it, like these things up here. I think I got the colors pretty good. It's not these colors, but it's a different set of colors. But I need to go through the whole thing and apply a bunch of textures to it. But it's getting there. It's getting there. It's always a work in progress. So, let's grab some of these. We don't need some of those. We got... So we're going to probably sell those. And this minigun, if we can sell that. And I did load a bunch of stuff up in the Adiana already, if we can get to it. Yep. So I put a couple Tier 2 multi-tools in it. Uh, laser rifle, laser, three laser rifles. We'll put that, these things in it as well. And we're going to try to sell those, as well as this heavy armor. No, not that one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we might sell that one. We're going to get more heavy armor. So let's go ahead and plop that in there. But we got to be careful because this one's ours. It's got, I don't know if you see down there in the bottom, towards the bottom there, the EVA boost and radiation protection boost. Uh, I did put those... You know, those uh, uh, armor boosts on that particular heavy armor already. So we want to keep that one. So we got to be particularly careful when we go to the trader. And you might notice that on my hot bar, we got our plasma rifle. Epic. Because I don't have any ammo for it. Oh, well, I'm just stupid. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just particularly stupid because we got a ton of this ammo. We got a bunch of laser rifle cells, which is what this thing takes when the lap last episode. Yeah, I think so. I forgot already. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, this is not the only updated game I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying a little bit of Seven Days to Die, too, as you may or may not have noticed. Uh, Seems like everybody that visits my channel likes the Imperion video videos, but could care less about my Seven Days to Die videos. That's okay. I don't mind. I enjoy playing the game. Um, but in our last episode, we did gain a bunch of laser rifle cells, so we're going to take those with us. Yay! Because <laughs> we got this epic, epic plasma rifle and we're gonna take it so we gotta go find a base and we're gonna hit the trader up while we are at it uh anything happen well in between the episodes i don't think so i did go get some materials and stuff and um Yeah, I think that's about it, really. I just ran around and gathered some copper and some iron, a little bit. Well, we got the cobalt and silicone, and then we got the titanium wherever it's hiding in here. I wish they'd put the ores together. I mean, sort by type. I mean, sort by type. <laughs> oh, there it is. 92. We still got 92 titanium ores. We haven't built anything from that, although we could. Um, if we go to small vessel and build the things, oh, we could make a polarized hole shield. Dare we? I think we dare. I think we do it. Uh, turn you on. Do it. Uh, but that means we need tier three extenders and to get 
Tier 3 extenders. Can we make two of those? Oh, that should waste some time, shouldn't it? Um... These things used to take tier 2 extenders, which is why... Is that still the case? Can I take that out of here? And... Retrieve block. Okay. Okay, and if I drop that in the input box, will that help us? I don't know. It used to. I don't know if it's going to do that anymore. I don't think so. All right, well, it's nighttime out. Let's sleep and see where this brings us to. Is it done? Nope. Almost. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. We already put the extra generators in it, in the Adiana. And so it should be okay power-wise. Uh, we, we, we've got a bit of uh, pentaxid. Let's, uh, let's, let's get that going. Uh, back to all things, this stuff. And let's get like 50 going. I know we have some in it for the warp drive, but you know, okay, that's done. And let's install the stuff. Uh, where'd it go? There's that. Nope. Let's put that over there. And we need the tier three extenders. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to make a big difference. Oh, you might notice it's. Sylvia's in the box over here. That's what this this thing is. Um, I had to put the dancing girl in the box. Sylvia is in the box because she kept going over here, and she was like dancing inside of the constructors. Yeah. All right, whatever gets her rocks off. Well, you know, I don't mind, but it was getting a little bit annoying. I gotta tell you. Okay, so let's rotate it. I'm using home and end to rotate it. And if you want to change what axis, you're going to rotate the thing. You see the red line is that axis. Axi. Green line is that axi. And the pink line is that axi. And then if you hit home and end, it's going to rotate around whichever one you got selected. And I particularly want that one. We're going to put that one there. And we're going to put that one there. And let's go ahead and access our warehouse and our personal stuff. And we want our colorization tool. And we're going to paint black because reasons. Right? Go into our opinion menu, devices, and now we will notice that we got some ungrouped things. Let's just auto group the things. And there we go. We already put our generator, extra generators in here. And then now all we need is the personal hole shield, which we have somewhere. There it is. And let's rotate this. No. I'm trying to find the pink one. There it is. But I want to put that crosshatch back. I want to put that towards the back. And we're going to sneak it in there. Grab our colorization tool again. And what color do we want to color it? Well, it's a good color for a shield. How about... That orange. We got any orange going on here? That works for me. Maybe not that. That's the passenger seat color. Not that it matters. Let's put the yellow. Or right, how about this light blue? No, that kind of matches the piping. How about that yellow? Yeah, I like the yellow. That's nice. Okay. So, we will... Because now that is ungrouped, we're going to auto-group the stuff. Now, 
if you are using blueprints, uh, I will caution you that some uh, creators of, not creators, creators <laughs> of things like the Adiana and the HVs and the SVs and the CVs that you can use in your own games from the, the, the blueprint thingy, the blueprint library. You can always download them, go on your Steam account, and you can go to the thing and use them as you see fit. And But I will warn you that if you go into the P menu, some of people, some of the designers, they like to create custom groups. You have to be a little careful. I do not. This one it has no custom group, so I'm more than comfortable of hitting that old group. I think I've mentioned this before in one of the previous videos, and I'm going to mention it again. And so I have. Yeah, nice yellow for the whole shield. How are we doing CPU-wise? We should be okay. Oh, yeah. 40,000. We're now Tier 3, and we're, we got 9,000 left, right? So we're at 3,100, basically. And for Tier 3, we can go to a max of 40,000. We got some taxid in the tank already, so let's go ahead and fire this baby up. And now we can turn on our shield. Let that charge up while we go into the things. Right? Right. Uh, do I got any oxygen on me? I do not. Let's top off our oxygen. Ah. Uh, that is one thing I did in between episodes. I, I changed the faction a little bit. Uh, not a big deal. I just got tired of looking at CRA. Really, I mean, the private faction shows private, private, and some of the other factions they actually spell out. You know, Xerax is Xerax, Talons, T L, T A L, Polaris, and, and yeah, that's fine. But C R A, and I, so I renamed it Crater's Faction. Although we're single player, so it doesn't really matter. We don't need a faction. We can continue to use the private but if you're playing with your friends and family and your loved ones and whoever you you can create your own factions by create somewhere oh I, I'd have to leave it first <laughs> I can't create one because I'm already in one um, so I just named it CR period and Instead of just craters, I just craters faction to differentiate it from, well, me. All right, so our shield is 100%. Well, that charged up fast, and but it to eat, blah, blah, blah. It did eat up some taxid. So let's go ahead and manage that. And we can go into our warehouse and in the output. Oh, we can see we chewed up a lot of that pentaxid, the raw pentaxid, and we can top off our, nope, we're full, okay, great, go to our oxygen tank, you can always bring down this drop menu over here, an oxygen tank, and we can top that off too, and there we go, and our fuel tank, we can do the same thing, we do have a bit of fuel in here. Let's grab them little wands and drop those in there. Wonderful. Wonderful. There we go. All right. And let's put our colorization tool away. Color, texture and color tool. Put that in there. And I think we are ready to take off. I believe we are. That's just, uh, yeah, that's good. To, oops. That's good. Um, the HV is good sitting where, where it's at. Uh, we can go kill that guy over there, or we can just use a... Oh. He be dead. Alright. Another one over here. Get a little meals to go. 
All right. And we'll just drop that stuff in the fridge. Right quick. Oops. Player. There we go. And how are we doing on fuel here? 99%. Oh, I did top that off at some point for some reason. Um, oh, we can shut the constructors off. Uh, we do have a magic switch for that. And yep, there it is. Okay. All the constructors are off. We did make our 52 container extensions to expand our storage and this base here, but we're not going to make use of that yet. Anything in here? Oh, yeah. That's another thing I did in between episodes. I did make another set of light armor and move these things over. We will take the other set of light. Nah, nobody's going to buy it. Let's not even bother. Um, so the durability is much higher, right? So we're not so worried because this is getting pretty low. We could repair it, but we don't have a repair station to do that yet. And um, I think uh, let's grab a grab a snack. Let's eat that, and we're good. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Screw this crap. And I had an idea about this. And I think I can pull it off in the simplistic logic of Empyreon, I think. I gotta play with it. Back to creative mode for that, but not right now. And so let's... And the thrusters didn't turn on. You can see the thrusters didn't turn on. Why? So we can see the takeoff toggle or... The thing should turn on the thrusters, and we can see that the thrusters oh, are using the thruster signals, so they should fire up. Oh. They did. Okay, now before we get anywhere, before we take off into outer space and get ourselves into trouble, we are going to save a template right now because we added the two tier three CPU extenders, we added the shield, we added whatever else we added. I forgot already. <laughs> Uh, but we made changes, so we're going to save that template in case we get ourselves into some trouble, which is highly likely. And so if we get damaged somehow or whatever happens, we can always go visit a trading station that supports the uh, station services tab, uh, you can see up there. If you go visit a trading station that supports this, we can, of course, repair our SV back to 100%, as long as we have a template saved. If I had not saved that template, and we got into a bit of... What is that over there? Uh, let's hit the detector. Oh, it's a Xerox defense station. You boy, let's stay away from that. Um, our shields are on, right? Yes, it is. Where are we going? We are going to a thing. Uh, not that thing. Not that thing. Hidden station, that's where we're going. All right. Let's get up to speed, turn the inertial dampener thingy off, and we'll just coast. Any ores around here? I'm not seeing any. Nope. Switch view. That way we can look around while we're uh, floating through the space. No, I don't want to look at... Why am I looking at the bottom side of the thing? There we go. Hmm. 
that over there, that orange color, is probably a Polaris mm, ship of some kind. Uh, transport ship or something. There's another transport. We saw that one already. That's why it's labeled. The white ones with the question mark are some kind of ores. We're getting to the hidden station. It's only three kilometers now. Anything else in the immediate area? Oh, there's a bunch of Polaris mines. You can see it there. There's another ore, another Polaris ship of some sort. And let's uh, turn on our dampers back on. This appears to be the pirate base, Commander. Someone inside should know where we can find the recipe or might want to hand it over with the use of appropriate arguments. All right. How do we get in? Oh, that looks like a turret. That looks like a turret if I've ever seen one. But we don't want to fire on the thing, but let's have our weapons ready. Oh, there's an opening. So our shields are on, so we don't have to worry about our SV so much. And I think we're upside down. Let's hit O. Maybe orient ourselves to this thing. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully that's not a window there. Let's put on our helmet and jump on out. Let's get our pulse rifle ready to go just in case and cruise on over. Here we go. Um, yeah, they don't look friendly. Oh, we gotta go talk to that guy, but we gotta find our way in here first. Then that. It's a window. Uh, that is not the way in. Oh, I assume it's there. There is a landing pad here. Looks like another turret there. A retracted turret. And. What else we got? Oh, there's some resources here, too. See that? Good stuff right there. That's a good stuff. And hopefully we can get to that. So we're going to land on the landing pad here and uh, see what happens. Let's change views so we can land correctly here. So I hit V and left Alt. And now I'm hitting O to level out. And then we're going to drop down. No. Oh, we are down. Okay. It's a small, little, tiny landing pad. So I'm landing on the rails. You can also use the arrow keys, in case you didn't know that, to uh, orient yourself. You don't have to use the mouse to fly a ship. You can do it with, uh, you know, the standard WASD, uh, C and space. C, of course, brings you... Presser shut off. <laughs> uh, no, turn on, damn it. Yeah. C brings you down, space, space takes you up. The arrow keys will turn you in the directions. Um, the, the left and right arrow keys will turn you well, left and right, and the up and down will tilt you up and down. So now that we're kind of lined up with the landing pad here, we'll go ahead and land, and I think we're good to go. And now we can shut the toggle off, and the timer should take care of the things. Our helmet's on. Turn our jetpack off, and there we go. And shut down. It's got a 30-second timer on it, so... I just should get rid of that logic. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, but we, we can... It's still powered up. So the fridge is working and those kind of things. And we can connect to it. Just in case we gather some things. And... 
Again, I wish I could crouch. I'm trying to hit that control key. You probably hear it. You can't crouch in this game. <laughs> uh, whoop. Okay. Pirates. Yar. Ugh. I don't want to go down there. Is there something else that we should be looking for here? Um. I don't see anything below the grating. Uh, is there a set of stairs or something? Uh, a little jetpack action? No. It's just a landing pad. Alright. Alrighty. And I guess we're going to jetpack down the hole. Well, that's not promising. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, oops, I'm hitting all kinds of wrong buttons here. I'm trying to get down the hole, but I'm not being very. And of course, I went the wrong way. This way. What is that? Alright, let's turn the jetpack off so we can make use of the gravity here. And... Get rid of that. We don't need that thing shooting at us. Make use of the cover while we have it. There's another one. Check our six. Oh, I like this thing. I don't think we need to kill those guys. We will raid him. And they got all kind of, oh these are new. They've redone the graphics on these uh uh screens, which is really cool. And this one too. This one looks awesome. Oh look at that. Look at that. Oh oscilloscope analyzing the frequencies and stuff. That that looks great. That really looks good. Okay. The uh, pirate, pirate Xerox dude is dead. Do I need to kill you? I'm gonna blast you in the head with a shotgun shell. No. Okay. Talk to the pirate commander. Whoa, dude! You got a set of teeth, my man, and those red eyes. Do I need to shoot you in the face? Nice armor, though. I like your armor. Can I have it? Have something to offer? Go to our traders. If not, you better get out of here, scumbag. Who are you talking to? Now what do I need to do? Um, can I shoot him in the face? Uh, he's not attacking me, so that might not be the best idea. Although, I am really tempted. The core is right there. The core for this whole station is right there. That whole pink thing right there. Alright. So I guess we're adventuring on. Uh, oops. Nope. Nope. Not that. Oh, hello. Are you guys going to attack me? Hi. No? You're going to do nothing. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Although, I really would like to shoot you in the face. Oh, wait. We've already been there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All 
All right, somehow I did a 360. Oh, don't make me jump. I got to jump down the hole. What? Why did I... Did I literally walk past these guys without even seeing them? Uh, apparently I did that. Assault cyborgs. Level 2 pirates. All right. Nice. There's a ventilator up there. And there is literally nothing else. Okay. And I guess we're going down. Bunch of generators. Four. Four big generators, tier ones. Can I can I take those? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Shoot him in the head. Ah, uh, we did take a little damage. Isn't it? Expecting anybody to blast us in the head, but... Well, apparently I was wrong. Of course. Okay. Now we're getting radiation from those. I, can t I should have taken out that core while we were up top. Hello? I hear you gurgling. All right, what's in here? Uh, okay, let's uh, let's eat one of them. Let's have us one of them, and let's switch over to the Adiana while it's still in range. And we're gonna dump these stuff. This is all powered deco storage. And usually has some kind of oh, refined pentaxid. Nice stuff. Not a lot of it, but it helps. Ooh, lovely, lovely. What else we got in here besides radiation from that? Uh, I got turned around again. All right. Oh, I had my mouse set on my HV setting. That's why. Okay. Uh, I don't want to open the doors. Do I have to open the doors? I don't want to. Oh. 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 Epic weapons make this so much easier. Fell in a hole, apparently. Apparently there's a hole there. Okay. Huh? What the crap is that? Oh, hi. My reputation is too bad. Can I shoot you? Apparently not. I can raid you. Oh. Uh, what is that? Oh, another. Tier 2 shotgun. Lovely. What do we got in here? Radiation protection boost. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't like the way that sounds. There's a gravity. I think that's a gravity thingy. More elevators. Uh, going down. Going down. Hear that sound? That is a them things. Oh. More of you bastards around. Oh, there is. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, I died. 
I don't know how I'm gonna get back there. Oh. Current location. All right, helmet. Nope, helmet. Where are we? Uh, you, you're joking, right? Oh, over there. Can I move? Oh, jetpack. I gotta turn the jetpack on. Now where to go? There it is. Oh, and it spawned us outside the whole thing. Great. I'll be honest, I've never seen this POI before. This is new to me, as it is new to you. If you're watching the video and haven't played this before, if you have played it before, and you're watching the video, go ahead, laugh. I don't mind. I died. That was stupid. I shouldn't have died. I should not have died. I had all the things on me, health kits, the whole deal. I was prepared, and I did the stupid things. Yes, I did. That's not, not normal, isn't it? Always doing the stupid things. Okay, turn the jet back off. Let's go. Now we got to get back to... Okay, can I get through here? Thank you. Uh, can I come over here and smack you in the face? Hey. <clears throat> no. I did click. I, I, I did click my mouse, but nothing happened. <laughs> I wish I could smack him in the face. All right, my backpack is that way. Which is no longer disappearing. Thank you very much. And we are going to... Nope, oh, I fell in the hole again. Okay, we're going to make use of our drone. And fly in there. If we can. There it is. Oop. And select gather all. Thank you. And bring back the drone. And voila. <laughs> tricks. Tricks, people. I have a few of them. Uh, inventory. All right. Uh, we want shotgun up first. Plasma rifle, sniper rifle, multi-tool, that thing, uh, detector goes down on nine, and bandages goes on seven, health packs goes on eight, if I remember to use them. Let's chow some food. Is that all I got? And let's go ahead and connect back to our Adiana. And do we have any food in the fridges? No, we do not. Okay, that's fine. That's, that is perfectly no problem. All right, let's eat some more of that. And let's go ahead and put that crap in there. We don't need it taking up inventory space. And we'll eat that last one, I'm hopefully. We will get some food along the way. Now. Oh, you're a trader. That's why you won't trade with me. Okay, I get it. I get it. And. See him over there? See, I didn't... What? What? Something about factions changed to hostile? Pirates. Ah, oh, great. Well, that's all right. Is that a dude? No, that's not a dude. 
Any more dudes? Reload while we got a chance. Any dude over there? No. Uh, dude over here? No. We already looked. Okay. We can take that thing. Oh, nice. Cobalt. Another pair of night vision goggles. Nice. I mean it. Holy crap. All right. Okay. Uh, we're going to fill up quick at this rate. Yeah, I hear you growling down there and making the nasty noises. Can I see you to shoot you in the face? Oh, I can. Get that sniper rifle. Are you going to stand still for me? You dead. Oh! What? What a shoot at me. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. I did not mean to fall down there. Oh, God. Frick. Ugh. Oh. Mm hmm. I did not stand a chance on that. They were base laser turrets down there. That's what killed me. Now, where'd the thing go? Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, that, that was no fair. Absolutely no fair. Oh, that's why I wish I could creep. Crawl. Ah, <sighs> oh, my word. Honestly, I was just trying to get a peek over the edge. Was not trying to fall over it. Turn the jetpack off. And what happens? Of course, in this game, because you cannot... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Ah. You hear me trying to hit the button. You cannot creep. You cannot crawl. So we're going to do the same trick again. Oh, I've died twice. Twice. Oh, th this this place is no joke. Uh, but we got to get our stuff because that's... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Idiot. Where'd the backpack go? There it is. Okay. We were this way, right? Oh, I'm gonna fall in the hole again. Yeah, you bastard. You gonna die. I'm gonna... You're hostile. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna make use of the drone as soon as we're... Let's not get too close to the lip. And let's hope the drone does not get shot, and it might. Okay, there we go. And we got our stuff back. Oh, thank goodness. All right, shotgun, plasma rifle, get the things, and do the other things, and the other things. All right, make sure we're connected to our... Yeah, okay. Good. Let's not fall off the thing again. In fact, let's just loot the stuff. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just a standard multi-tool. Alright, can can I sh shoot any of these buggers from up here without falling off? That would be nice. Yeah.
I don't want to fall off. No! Oh god, I did it again. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Where is it? Uh, okay, we got to do this again. One more time. Oh, jeez. We're going to get our stuff to get out of here. <laughs> I just can't deal with this. Oh, boy. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Forgot to put my helmet on. Did I record all of that? I think showing three, four minutes now. Did I accidentally hit a button? Oh, boy. All right. We've died a couple times. Three times. And this is really not good. Really? And we keep falling in these stupid holes. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm really starting to get upset with this place. There's got to be a better way of going about it. Literally going about it. All right, jetpack. All right, jetpack off. Back through here, fall in the hole again. Down through here. We want to shoot this guy in the face, but we've lost all our weapons because it is down there, 15 meters. Because we keep falling down this stupid pit. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Where's our backpack? There it is. Troll F. There we go. Now they they can shoot your drone when you do that. So be weary. There's some elevators here. We've looted all these boxes. There's nothing back behind the corner, right? Nope, there's not. Okay. Let's reload. Oh, my word. And I don't have any food. Let's reload that. Oh, we're quickly running out of that. All right, let's get the shotgun on hand. All right, can, can we shoot this guy in the face? There we go. Well, that didn't do anything for us. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, let's reload again. Oopsie. Oh! Oh, we got hurt. There. Okay, takes care of those. of noises here that I just don't want to deal with. And we gotta find this stupid recipe. Really? Nope, 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 nope. That ought to be good. Oh. And minigun. I don't care about the minigun. We're almost full. Look at that. And that that's our our Adiana, that's our CV that's full. I don't care about the minigun. I really don't. What's in here? Oh, we'll take that stuff. All right. Um, 
stay away from the pit because we have died three times to that pit. Stupid pit. Uh, in fact, we're going to go back up and take out the core. Just to hell with all this. Because there are two... Two... Turrets down there. Repair Bay Tier 2. Uh, all we need is the console and a platform to build this on, and we'll be good to go on this planet.
All right, folks. Storming again as usual outside. Raining. Yeah, of course. Raining. Windy. You can barely hear me over all the noises. Go back inside. All right. That's this episode. We died like 20 times. And we accomplished absolutely nothing. And... We will pick this up in the next episode. We will can in between the episodes. I may go ahead and um, get set up and gather the resources to bring. In fact, right before, real quick before we go, we are gonna look towards bringing in a capital vessel, which is the MCRN Pioneer Tier Three, which is my little upgrade of Jay Randall's thing of it. I do I do have in the library, if we go to the online stuff, this is my quote unquote own, what's in my personal inventory on my hard drive. This is the actual workshop, which is the online stuff. And then what is that? Stock stuff. Oh, that's what comes with the game. So there is the MCRN Pioneer Tier 2. So this is what's available on the workshop that you can find on Steam for um, Imperion. <laughs> complete, just brain fart. Uh, completely forgot. Uh, but this is what's available on Imperion Steam Workshop. This is by Jay Randall. Just search for MCRN Pioneer for a Tier 2 Unlock Level 10 CV. Fantastic. Fantastic CV. For a, this is basically a starter CV. And I just upgraded it a little bit and, you know, did a couple things to it. That's why it's Tier 3. And we already dumped it in the factory, so we need some iron. Uh, we need some neodymium, so we got to go to the moon for that. Cobalt, we need a bunch of titanium rods. We should be okay, maybe. We might have to go back to the moon, get some titanium. But I I, I will do that kind of stuff in, in between the episode and make sure I'm prepared for the next episode. Because this is going to take, as you can see... Two and a half hours more than to uh, bring in uh, the production time is more than two and a half hours we go to the moon and raid some um, some of them like that crash capital vessel that we saw in the last episode and get all the things from it that that will bring that time down a little bit um, but uh, yeah, and we need like 27 grow plots, and I think we have uh, six steel. They gotta be steel grow plots, growing plots, not the wood ones. Oops, concrete ones or whatever. So I will do some of that preparation, probably not all of it, but some of that preparation in between this episode and the next episode. So. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. And I truly hope you and yours are doing well in these complicated and difficult times. If you like the video, don't be afraid to hit that little like button down there below. If you want to get notified of future videos and stuff, I'm afraid you are going to have to subscribe to my dumb little channel. If you didn't like the video, please tell me why. Leave a comment. I really would like your feedback. If you liked it or didn't like it, I want your feedback. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Um, tell me. Did I say that enough? One more time. Tell me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it.
right? Did I get all the things? Comment, like, unlike, subscribe, uh, notification thing, the bell, stupid. Thing. Yeah, I got it all. All right. I appreciate y'all watching my video. Hey, take care and be safe out there.